Rob's nativity play was not going to plan this year. It was not in a church hall, but online. Otherwise, school would receive a hefty fine. And she was 60, so she had to stay at home. But she was determined to do a nativity, so she was not alone. But she did not want to lose her small drama business, but enable the children, most by now, suffering from mental illness. Little baby Jesus in his crib got a distorted view of humankind who had to social distance all were fine. His dad, Joseph, was not in the stable because visitors weren't allowed. You see, no one else was there because we weren't allowed to crowd. The king did not come from field and fountain, moor and mountain, following yonder star. Travel was banned. There were no cars. We certainly could not wander far. Shepherds wanted to watch their flock by night, all seated on the ground. But guess what? Most were furloughed. Their businesses really slowed. Some were asked to work from home. One had a change of career and earned the xylophone. No presents were delivered by Saint Nick. As Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, Vixen, etc., took him over six. Rudolph with his big red nose. So bright. Well, he really should get a coronavirus test tonight. <laughs> Others unemployed now, so they were not handcuffed by coppers. Some dads, NHS staff who had been working so hard and exhausted. Other parents panicking about how their kids would get fed. But Miss Shrub felt so sad, she said. Open up and let loved ones See you when you struggle. Seek help if you need it in this coronavirus struggle. Today is the 5th of November 2020. We have just had Halloween tonight. We had fireworks terrorising us. It feels like the UK is becoming a communist so country. Favourite place again? About to go down for a urethral stretch and Botox in my bladder. So hopefully be a quick whiff out and my incontinence I will go at this point because currently I'm on four or five diapers. Hands, face and space. The UK government Prime Minister Page is very busy today, the 5th of November 2020, as we go into day one of our second lockdown here in the UK. All these new rules and regulations, we are sounding more and more like a communist state as every day goes by and we are beginning to question decisions that are being made and whether the restrictions should apply to all aspects of life. The last lockdown, people were told not to go to work or to go to school. This is not the case this time. And there is certain sympathy for childcare and businesses and venues. Everything is so new, it's a first for all of us. The first pilot of mass testing, Boris Johnson there. National restrictions, you may only leave home for specific reasons, the government say. self-isolate immediately. 
Well, I had a bit of surprise when I went down to theatre. I met the lovely anaesthetist and surgeon who said they were going to operate on me. We went in at 12. I eventually went down at 4, but I went down to the operating theatre and it was a completely different team. Um, two young people who were students. Luckily, their consultant was there watching them and then a surgeon who had operated me on me many years ago, allegedly. So it was a bit discombobulating. It was a little bit like going on a date with someone and then on the next date someone else turning up so I quickly went through all of my potted history there and then in the operating theatre. Again another example of communist group activity. I continue to worry about cybercrime. Hello uh, Facebook world, I'm watching a programme called Booksellers. Now I've had problems um, with getting royalties through on my books on KDP and on ebook and paperbacks and I'm watching this program now and I'm seeing how wildly eccentric booksellers are and why I might not be getting my royalties through. If I want to sell some books I think I literally have to go the penny has dropped from bookshop to book Amazon's shop. treatment of authors epitomizes again a communist type directly thinking process. <laughs> Fancy helping me do this because it's going to be very, very time consuming. In the UK, it feels like we are observing a communist perspective to critique America and the freedom of speech that Trump and Joe Biden seem to have and questioning their thoughts, feelings, ideas and judgments. Oh, remember, remember the 5th of November 2020. Not a year we're going to forget in a hurry, is it? The presidential election in America is being observed from up by us from afar we've almost taken a communist stance upon it and are constantly irritated by Trump's freedom of voice which he regularly exercises invariably without popular effects if you watch this video many years in the future you will be surprised shocked horrified or disappointed that this is who the world voted in for many years to be their leader. Are we really saying that this is the best candidate that the world can find to run the most influential country in the world? Is this the tweet that one would expect from the most powerful and influential man, potentially in the whole of the world? Oh, remember, remember the 5th of November 2020, we certainly will. Fireworks were going off from 6pm this evening because of course there's no public events. It's okay, mate. We will meet in Boots. We'll ask at the counter for a prescription. We'll play out a ruse of fiction. We are really meeting for a laugh and hoots. We ain't ordered nothing in Boots. It's okay, mate. We'll meet in Sainsbury's. We'll wander around with the trolley. We'll play out a ruse of folly. We are really meeting to ease our worry. We ain't buying nothing in Sainsbury. It's okay, mate. We will meet at Domino's. We will get them to hold on to our pizza. We'll play out a ruse to meet you. We are 
really meeting to gossip about our foes. We ain't ordered anything really in Domino's. It's okay, mate, but let's not meet in the JR. We will not want COVID-19. There we do not want to be seen. We really need to keep away afar. We do not want to end up in the COVID ward at the JR.